Commander, sorry about the crew, and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. Damn right you're sorry. Maybe we should dump you. We've got an AI. What do we need a human pilot for? My capabilities are expansive, Shepard, but the human interface is critical. I have observed that effective tactics are not always predictable. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were self-limiting to protect him. That would be counterproductive. My survival is at stake as well. She's not perfect, Commander. It looks like she needs me. We got it under control. I noticed you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. Edie has replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you two? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. 